Yo, what is up? Welcome back everyone. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out another video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Let's hop right into the gameplay. As you can see right now, I am on Carrington and I am rocking the MG15, which I have to say is my favorite LMG in COD World War II. And I don't know if it's because of the iron size or the fire rate or a combination of both, but I really do love this LMG and I know a lot of people love the Lewis and they say it is like the best gun in the entire game but for me personally I feel like the MG15 has a little bit more maneuverability and I can actually get more done with it so uh, for those reasons I really prefer that but in the case of LMGs altogether I feel like whenever you're using them on World War II you just have to stay in a certain vicinity with them you can't really rush around the map too much unless you're wearing airborne which I think is kind of unfortunate because whenever I'm rocking an LMG I don't always want to stay in just one vicinity like if I'm on a flag I have to stay in the vicinity of a flag if I start pushing too far into the enemy spawn then people start spawning on the outsides they start spawning behind you and then sometimes you run into people who are wearing airborne or infantry and they can just out strafe you and easily kill you or even a shotgun at times so uh, for that reason I like to just stay back with an LMG and try to pick people off at range which is what you're actually supposed to do with an LMG it's supposed to get you those range kills and every now and then you get those lucky hip fire drop shot kills whenever people are up close and personal but uh, as you can see in this gameplay I am moving a bit slow and with all my LMG gameplays I will be moving a bit slow I am not just going to run around the map willy-nilly uh, now when it comes to LMGs versus submachine guns and going for V2s I feel like a submachine gun I have more fun going for a V2 with a sub because I can just rush around the map and I enjoy exploring the map and going to different places even though I've played these maps uh, a thousand times it just feels a lot more satisfying when I can just move around and get kills versus staying in one general area. There goes the V2 with the LMG. I don't call it in unfortunately because I wanted to go for the gun streak vicious. Uh, but yeah, I just feel like submachine guns, they treat you a lot better when it comes to having fun and getting those V2s. Now LMGs, they definitely will get you V2s. Like I've said in previous videos, uh, you guys will notice a major difference between this this gameplay and the gameplay you're about to see right after this with a submachine gun it's the grease gun one of my faves and you'll notice you'll notice that I move around the map so much more I'm just constantly switching between you know the middle of the map and my spawn even sometimes I will go into the enemy spawn but yeah guys I hope you enjoy the rest of the video uh, I'm gonna let it play out the submachine gun v2 is a lot more fast paced and in my opinion I had so much more fun you know re-watching it and actually playing because subs are just one of my top fave weapons and I, I don't know how you guys feel but let me know in the comments do you prefer to sit back with LMGs and go for v2s or do you prefer to be all up in the enemy's face and you know say hey I'm gonna gun you down and I'm gonna get uh, those streaks and then eventually I'm gonna get that v2 let me know how you play and how you prefer to play I hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace out
Holy fuck, I was almost on a 50 screen. Damn! Fuck! <laughs> Paratroopers out here going in.